Big wheels rolling, big wheels rolling, moving on. Big wheels rolling, gotta keep them going. Big wheels rolling, moving on. The white line is the lifeline to a nation. And men like Will and Sonny make it move. Good morning. Yes, it is October 7th. It is Wednesday morning. I guess in the regular world of working, you would call this hump day. Or if you had one of them dedicated routes, Monday through Friday, and you was home on the weekend, it would be considered hump day. If you're OTR, you're over the road, you're out for two weeks, it would be called a half a hump day. <laughs> The other half would be next week when you go home or right before you go home, right? Well, we're leaving Effingham right now. We were at this Effingham Chrome. That's where we parked. Tennessee. Get this load off. Then we're going to go pick up another load. And that load will actually deliver in Kankakee. We're about 44, what is that, about 44, hey, they're closed, I'll be dang. So no, they're open, <laughs> they're not closed, oops, I thought, you know, that sign didn't say closed, it said open, it flipped it open, see, and because I was able to see that, I have to pull in. Now, if I was past it at the time it said closed, it did say closed. Or maybe it didn't. I just thought it did. Oh, well, the sun was in my eyes. <laughs> oh, we're light. I did weigh my load. I, I'm only a gross weight of 69,000 pounds, so I'm very light. Oh, wow. They're doing homework in there, man. Wow. Can you guys see that on the camera? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They got eight trucks in there. 
DOT is working today. Oh yeah. Unless some of them boys were actually sleeping in there, but DOT is in there. Oh yeah. Oh, they are in there, guys. Oh, they got five DOT cars in there. Holy crap. They are in there working. How about the, uh, how about the northbound? What are they doing? DOT's in there too, but they only got one, two, three cars in there. And not as many trucks. Three trucks. Three trucks and one super oversized, but he's not actually parked. He's parked on the edge. He's too big to be actually in the parking area there. Wow. DOT is working the scales. Hey, there's a pinner truck. going by the whole or going over the Ohio River. Yeah, Rudy was on this river not too long ago himself. We're gonna we're gonna stumble right into Kentucky. Oh yeah, see the sign y'all? No, you don't see it yet. I bet you the camera don't show it yet. There it is. Welcome. To Kentucky. Oh, well, we just gotta go through Kentucky here. All the way down to the bottom. And then just a little bit of Tennessee. We're actually doing what we gotta do here. We're kicking butt. This is Perducah. Perducah, Kentucky. I wonder if the Kentucky scales are open. Sorry for the bugs on the windshield, guys. We started out with a clean window. Now we got the bugs. <laughs> well, hopefully it's not real super loud on you guys as far as looking through my window. Yeah, I wonder if the Kentucky, I bet, I bet they're open. I bet they are. See, it's Wednesday, a nice, sunny, warm day. Oh, they're open. I guarantee they're open. Guarantee they're open. Well, I'll be dang. I lost that one, guys. <laughs> they're closed. I don't get it, man. It could be rainy, nasty, cold, windy, and they're open. It could be a nice, sunny warm day and they're closed how you figure <laughs> well they're closed i don't have pre-pass so that ain't why i'm they're closed <laughs>
are just about in Tennessee. Oh yeah. Right up here, state line. Tennessee welcomes you. We are now in Tennessee, ladies and gentlemen. We ain't got far to go. Just a little bit further. Well, guys, we are just outside of Nashville, Tennessee. And as you can see, we are stocking. It is construction, man. Wow, lots of construction. Anyway, we are close. We're about 30 miles to our delivery, if that. So we'll be right back here. All right, guys. Hey, I apologize for, for the bugs. I guarantee when I get to my delivery, I will clean them off my window. But if you can see through the bugs, straight ahead is downtown Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, yeah, the home of the Grand Ole Opry. All right, we're empty <coughs> in Tennessee. Shut our doors, and we're gonna head to uh, our next pickup. But it don't pick up till tomorrow morning. But we're gonna get close, so we'll probably get to that truck stop, that I-40. That door gives me a hard time every time. Every time. Yeah, you remember I said I, I've never ate there before. So I think we're going to go there and that's where we're going to stop and eat. Oh, yeah. Anyway. We'll be right back, guys. I'm going to take a route that I've never taken before. This will be actually my first time. Exit 53, that 440, I think that's what it is. Change it, it's like a loop that goes around downtown, so I'm going to take it. And see if that may help me get around Nashville. decided to stop at a Flying J instead because I want a shower. <laughs> yeah, got to give me a shower. And uh, I'm going to take a break on cooking tonight. Yeah, I can do that once in a while, right? And there's our shower. Let's inspect this thing, make sure it's clean. Yeah, it is. Very clean. Wow. And there's a, they give you a washcloth, a mat for the floor, and a towel. Oh yeah. Hi everybody. Wow. Why don't you guys ever tell me my glasses are clean? <laughs> Sometimes I wear them down there on my nose. Because the reason for that is I can see a little bit distance. I just have a hard time reading something. So when I do that, I can look above. No problem, I can see. But if I want to read something, I just kind of look down and I can see. And then I got the bifocal. So if I really go to see something small, I just bring them up. And, and, you know. But that's why you, sometimes you see me with them like this. Because I can see over my glasses. I can see fine. I used to have a teacher that wore them like that. <laughs> anyway, we'll be right back. We're going to get a shower and get something to eat. So we'll be right back. Oh, uh, sweet tea. What are you having? I want the spaghetti and meatballs. Okay. And uh, you don't have that uh, 
Hardenies has got that all you can eat, but you gotta get the dessert with it. And stuff. Like that. Yeah, but you don't have to get the dessert with it or the. You can just get the all you can eat. Alright. I think I can eat too, but I'm not okay. sure. I'm, my eyes are bigger than my stomach, more like pasta. <laughs> well, we'll do, you, do, you don't want to do the salad and none of that, just the... Yeah, go ahead and bring me a salad, but yeah, go ahead and bring it okay. with ranch dressing. I just don't want the dessert. Well, I may have a dessert, but I don't want that one. Right, well, I'll tell you. You get a dessert, maybe I'll charge you for it if you do it all you can eat. Cool. We're out. Thanks. Okay. Appreciate it. No problem, sweetheart. All right. You just have that. Yeah, just keep that up here. There's my supper. See? Spaghetti and meatballs and a salad. And sweet tea. Well, we'll be right back. Oh, we got the boys out. Hey, let's go this way, guys. Hey, let's go this way. What a gorgeous day today is. About ready to render us a video. And we are about ready to go to bed. Because I got to get up mighty, mighty early tomorrow morning. But I'm not that far from my pickup. I didn't want to park there because, uh, well, there's nothing there. <laughs> I guess that's my only real reason why I didn't want to park there. Oh, Jake. You know, I had Jake out last night and uh, we came up on a fire hydrant and it was dark and he didn't recognize it and all of a sudden he just jumped back, started growling and barking. And I realized what he was barking at and that fire hydrant scared him. He didn't know what it was. He thought it was something other than what it was, I guess. I had to actually coach him up to him show him what it was you know then <coughs> he was no longer afraid then but he didn't recognize it I guess he thought it was a person or something but anyway we're gonna go ahead and walk these guys and we're gonna go back in so I'm gonna go ahead and put my closure in and uh, thank you guys for riding with us and uh, following us and giving us some good encouragement and uh, just being there I appreciate it and if you're not subscribed to our channel check it out follow along you know if you want to watch a few of our videos and before you subscribe and check us out that's fine But if you like it, we ask you guys to uh, subscribe to our channel. And if you like the video, please share. With that being said, I hope everybody ha has a, a, a God bless day and evening. And uh, if you have to drive tonight, just be careful. As they say in the trucking world, keep the shiny side up and the rusty side down. With that being said, God bless. Good night. We'll see you guys all come 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. Later.